Hey, how's it going? What we got here? I've got a pretty old and unusual uh, note that I picked up out east. OK. The Kirtland Safety Society Bank. $5. That was like the first Mormon bank, right? From what I understand, yes. Yeah, you have Joseph Smith's signature on it. Joseph Smith was the founder of the Mormon church. And Brigham Young, who took over the church after Smith died. Yeah, and you can tell they had much cheaper ink the second time they signed it. <laughs> yeah. I'm here at the pawn shop today looking to sell an old obsolete currency note. I purchased the note because I noticed that it was signed by Brigham Young. I'm hoping to sell the note for $20,000. It's really interesting. What year is this? I think it's uh, around the uh, middle part of the 1800s. 1830s in Ohio, Joseph Smith founded the Mormon church. They weren't exactly starting their own country, but it was almost like that. The church was doing stuff that normally governments would do. They created church-run stores, church-run schools. So they wanted to get a national charter for a bank, but US government said, nah, deny their application. So they just said, screw it, we'll open up our own bank. Sort of crazy to think about people opening up their own bank with no government regulation or anything, but it was done all the time back then. When the currency was first issued in 1837, it was signed by Joseph Smith. But years later, when they moved from Ohio to Salt Lake City, they reissued these bills. And they signed over the old signatures. That's why you have the founder of the Mormon Church, Joseph Smith, and Brigham Young's signature right here in a different type of ink. So it, it's a really cool bill. Do you want to sell it? Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in selling the note. It's a pretty rare example. Yeah, it would be really, really collectible. So how much you want for it? I am looking to get $20,000 for it. OK. In all honesty, I have no idea if that's a good price. But I know a guy who does. Can you hang out for a little bit? And let me get someone down here to look at it, OK? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. It'd be so great if I could start my own bank and put my picture on all the bills. <laughs> so what do you know about this bill? This bill is pretty remarkable. You always call me with better than unusual stuff, but this is actually a bit more special than most. OK, the very first Mormon issued currency was in 1837. And the first Mormon bank, it failed 11 months later because it was backed by real estate. It wasn't backed by any metals or anything tangible. And then in 1849, Brigham Young, who took over the church, reissued it, and it was actually backed by 80% of gold dust. It actually was backed by something tangible. OK. Now, the original issue in 1837 was signed by Joseph Smith, who was the first prophet and founder of Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And the president is Sidney Rigdon. However, those were not their actual signatures. They were done by scribes, members of the church, because they just didn't want to sit there and sign all day long. Then on top of Sidney Rigdon's signature, you'll see Herbert Kimball. And above his signature, you'll see Brigham Young. Now, the reason this note is very special is because Brigham Young actually hand-signed every single one of these notes. The first issue in 1837 is very common. The reissue of 1849 is extremely rare. They only issued 135 examples with Brigham Young's signature. I'm surprised in the condition. It's remarkable, actually, overall. The paper is so thin. It's basically printed on tissue, so a lot of creases and folds, but it has virtually no staining. OK. so. The big question, what's it worth? It's 100% legitimate. It is real. His signature, I uh, will authenticate it as genuine. And as far as the value, Rick, it's a great piece. I would value it roughly around $12,000 in today's market. OK, well, thanks, man. Good Appreciate luck, Appreciate it. OK, so Peter knows his stuff. He thinks it's worth 12. I mean, I'll give you 8,000 for it. Yeah, I think that's considerably lower than what I was kind of expecting to get for the note. I mean, I think I can sell it pretty quickly. I mean, I'll go 8,500. I really couldn't go much more than that. I, I don't think I can do that. I think I'd rather take my chances elsewhere. All right, if you change your mind, come back and see me. It's Thank pretty you. cool, though. It's a piece of history. Thank you.